Imagine using instruments which are not clean or the technical term sterile in patients. Patient comes to us with a problem and instead of solving it or on top of it, if we are giving them infections through use of unsterile instruments, it can be critical, semi-critical, non-critical instruments. It doesn't sound good. What would be the implications of such kind of uh, unhygienic practice or unhygienic way of treating patients? After all, we wouldn't be troubleshooters anymore. In this video, let's look into what sterilization is all about various objectives of sterilization, different methods of sterilization, including specifics like the time, temperature, amount of pressure used and also various types of instruments that can be sterilized using different means in this elaborate video. I hope you guys are all ready. Here we go. So what exactly is sterilization? Sterilization is a process to render an object free from viable microorganisms, including bacterial spores, viruses, etc. So it's an all out war. We do not want any microbial factors when we're using instruments or objects in patients, isn't it? So sterilization can be theoretically described as not more than one living microorganism present in one million sterilized units of final product. Items are required to attain this standard in order to achieve the term sterile. And this process of sterilizing instruments can be achieved in a number of ways including hot air, gas, irradiation and steam. And of all these methods, steam sterilization is one which is most commonly used as it is quick and effective and most importantly offers a simple yet reliable method of sterilization. So there are various accepted methods of sterilization including steam pressure sterilization or autoclave, chemical vapor pressure sterilization or chemiclave, dry heat sterilization or dry clave and finally ethylene oxide sterilization etox. Now let's look into each of these sterilization methods. First and foremost steam pressure sterilization. This is a technique which is operated at temperature range of 121 to 134 degrees centigrade at 15 to 30 pounds of pressure for a duration of 15 minutes. It's considered to be the most effective method for sterilizing most of the instruments including blunt instruments, dressings, glass material, silicone materials, rubber items, linen vessels, liquids, etc. Now coming to chemiclaving, where chemical vapor under pressure at 131 degrees centigrade at 30 pounds is used, mostly carbon steel and corrosion sensitive instruments can be sterilized without rusting. So that's the advantage we have with chemiclaving. Now coming to dry heat sterilization, the temperature exceeds 160 degrees centigrade for a duration of 60 to 90 minutes. So it's comparatively taking longer time. So uh, currently we have various sterilization methods which are replacing this dry heat sterilization. Now finally coming to ethylene oxide sterilization, ETOX. It operates at temperatures below 100 degrees centigrade and the best way to sterilize rotary hand pieces is through ethylene oxide sterilization. Now finally there are some specific important sterilization recommendations such as all instruments that have been sterilized should be bagged prior to storage and instruments that have been bagged are considered sterilized for four months if the bag is intact and always store sterilized instruments in a dry and low traffic area. After all sterilization is not just about quality work ethic rather it's based on sound scientific principle which is designed and devised to save lives.